environment. The environment means everything around us. The trees, the birds that are flying over, the construction site nearby, all of those can contribute to water clarity and therefore cloudy water. Even people using the pool can contribute and do contribute to cloudy water. They contribute to, people contribute to cloudy water because of our hairspray or body lotions, uh, makeup, deodorant, you name it, all of that stuff that goes into the pool, that can cause water clarity issues. With most environmental problems, the way that, that you treat them is by regular, normal shocking of the pool. If you shock the pool once a week as you're supposed to, you can eliminate a lot of those environmental problems. One other environmental problem that, that most people don't think of is their solar blanket. Solar blanket is a really useful tool, but the problem is that over time it will grow stuff on the, on the surface touching the water. As that film grows, and we call that a biofilm, that will contaminate the pool and therefore cause cloudy water. A good thing to keep in mind is if you do have a solar blanket, remove it once a month, mop it down, clean it, chemically clean it, and, uh, and then return it back to the pool. The second group of cloudy water causes are mechanical. And when we talk about mechanical, we're referring to the filter and the pump and motor and your plumbing system and everything in between. If those are not working or, or operating properly, you will have cloudy water, guaranteed. Let's start with the filter first. Your filter should be operating at a minimum of 8 to 12 hours per day. That's per day, every day, from the day you open the pool until the day you close the pool. If you're in a part of the country where the pool is open year-round, but it, in, in the off-season it doesn't get too much use, you still want to operate that filter for 8 to 12 hours. That is going to eliminate a whole bunch of issues for you. The other question when it comes to the filter is, is the filter chemically clean? If the filter is not chemically clean, it cannot do the proper job of filtering. Next part of, um, of the mechanical portion is how is the circulation of, of the pool? Are you getting sufficient water into the pool, into the filter, and then returning back to the pool clean? Most customers turn their eyeball, and that's that, that, that nozzle, so it's turning up so they can see ripples across the top of the water. You don't want to see that. You want to turn your eyeball and face it down towards the bottom of the pool. And that's going to force water down to the bottom and then it, it will bring it up and you will end up with much better circulation. Two other things that will help circulation tremendously and don't cost anything are brushing. Make sure you brush the pool on a regular basis. If the pool gets a decent amount of use, then once a week is fine. If it, if, if it is not used regularly, then you may want to brush it more often. The best, most cost-effective thing you can do to increase circulation in your pool is to swim in it. Get the kids over, swim in the pool, jump in the pool, use the pool as often as possible. If you want to make things really much better, you can use an item like this. This is called the circulation.